ain't talking with Woodrow Wilson Coach Street Surrest. Uh, Street, first of all, you're in a real practice. Now, last time I talked to you, we're in the three week uh, window. You're in real practice. Now, where's the team at right now? Man, we're, we're, we're right on pace. Where we need to be a little bit ahead of where we have been in the past. And, uh, you know, kids learning our systems and getting really, really coming together. Um, I got to talk to Keenan today. Obviously, uh, he's now a at least commitment wise, he's a Division One receiver. Um, you got to be proud of what, what that kid's done oh, in yeah. his career here. Yeah, he's worked hard. Come up here as a freshman and just grown a lot. Multi-sport guy. Just works hard in both the classroom and on the athletic side of it. football, basketball, track. So everything he gets, he deserves. He's a hardworking young man. How much has it helped him height wise to go from? I think he told me he was five nine when he came into the program. He's six four now. I mean. You look at that seven, eight inch uh, oh, height game. How, how much tremendous, tremendous. Helps him so much in, in football, basketball, high jumping in track. I mean, that, 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 that's a great story. I wish every kid in Beckley grew like that. He, uh, <laughs> no doubt. I mean, there'd, there'd be a lot of, lot of uh, coaches happier yeah. if that would be the case. He and Maddox both told me that they are at a point now where they can almost look at each other because they've been together so long. Oh, yeah. Like, it, do you see that? And how, how much is – being a coach with your experience, how much is, is it, does that even happen between Man, them? Is it rare? You, very rare, very rare. You got two guys that have grown up like that. You'll, you'll see it every so often with those guys. They've they played together so long, both football and basketball. I mean, they just know each other when one's making one move, one's doing this and that. I mean, good kids, very intelligent, and uh, best friends, locker beside each other, leaders of the team. So those guys, they, uh, they know what's going on. Have you seen other instances where they can, uh, Keenan can be, and I know you moved him back out wide where he can kind of stretch to the field now, but have you seen many instances where they can look at each other at the line of scrimmage and even just audible because they looked at each other? Last year in the GW game uh, on a touchdown, Keenan got, he lined up and there wasn't nobody on him and he just looked over and nodded his head at Maddox and it was a touchdown. Yeah. So you can kind of see it coming, too. Oh, yeah. yeah those and then guys you are, give them the freedom to yeah, do Yeah, they're special. They're special. I give them the freedom to do whatever they got. If they see it, and they're smart enough to know that that's there, take it. Uh, when met with Maddox and his growth as a quarterback, too, I think you told me he's, he's going to be one of the best to come through here when, he, when he's done. Uh, what, what would be uh, a goal that you think you can reach this year? I think and it could even be win. What do you think the, the – yeah. I think what I've said it before, I've said it all week this week to the media, we'll go as far as Maddox McMillan wants us to go. I think Maddox could leave out of here with a lot, a lot of records and uh, be a winning quarterback, playoff quarterback, shot at uh, making some noise in the playoffs, and you never know. Is the line going to be a concern? We're working on our line right now. You know, it's hit and miss. We got we got some guys uh, plugging in there. We're going to be uh, some young guys. We're going to try out some scrimmages and some, some spots. but. Uh, I think when it's all said and done, week one, our offensive line will be ready to go. I was looking at a stat a couple of years ago, and I think the stat was you threw the ball 113 times. I think you had over 300 running plays. Now, last year, obviously, that started going the other way. Are you fully integrated into a complete change from that now where it might be the exact opposite? You know, it, it, it comes from week to week. It just depends on what people's going to give you off in, or defensively and that. You know, if we got to run the ball, I think we got some great running backs in Nate Graydon and Darmonte Mitchell. And so, just have to wait and see what Friday night tells. But uh, it's good to be able to throw the ball if you're behind and uh, be able to move the ball down the field like those guys do. Are you uh, – do you, you have a lot of trust in the run game then, those guys? Oh, yeah. They, I mean, is it – is it safe to say they may have a big year because of how you can pass the ball? Yes, I think I think it'll be a, a well balanced offense. I think our running backs are, are very capable of putting up some big yards. Defensively, um, how much are you changing or are you changing anything? You know, we're, we're just we're, we're not changing anything. We're just emphasizing we're going to be more aggressive. And we're going to tackle better, and we're going to make sure that we understand what what we're doing on defense instead of. Just uh, not not knowing what to do or not tackling. If you can't tackle, you can't play defense here. You uh, you've added Jim Martin back to the staff. You've got Eddie Suk on staff. A lot of older coaches. Uh, how how much how much does that give you with input from guys Man, like that? I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it's just like those guys got so much experience in football and they see things that that I don't see and, uh, you know, there are other young coaches don't see, but, you know, they've seen it all. They've been in the state championship games. They've been in the playoffs a lot, been in the tight games. and They'll see things and they'll be like, hey, coach, and 
it's good to have good to have those guys on our staff. How much do you guys stay down here, and how much do you get in trouble at home because you stay down at the field house talking football all you? Because I know those uh, guys can go. Hey, they they can talk some football, but I enjoy it. I like the stories of the the old Mount Hub days and old Oak Hill Midland Trail days. Those guys tell some stories, and it's just great. That's the camaraderie with our staff. We have a great staff. You know, those guys. It's just 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 good to have coaches around that, that you know talk ball, want to be part of ball, and you know it's not about me, 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 and all this and that. It's just it's just we're we're about these kids and about playing football and making them better. Have you seen playmakers like you've got this year before here? I mean, yeah, to the yeah, you know there there there's been times you know you talk about here recently Andrew Johnson, Ramon Edwards, those guys. Uh, you know, in the past you had Marcus Manns. Uh, gosh, who else? I'm trying to think. Uh, Mike Ross, Mike Nick Mann, Ross, yeah. Chris Lawson. You know, those guys, those were playmakers, yeah. Um, that said, do you can you compare these guys uh, favorably with guys like uh, Manns, like uh, Mike Ross, guys like uh, Andrew Johnson? Well, I wish I had Mike Ross and Nate Manns. That does that, that <laughs> tells you anything. But I think I think uh, Nate Grayton and Darmonte could, could reach that level. They, they're, you know, they're just juniors. Maddox, a quarterback, uh, I think he throws the ball well. He's, I want to see him run a little bit with it. Kenan Cook, Kenan Cook might be, I'm going to go out on a limb and say one of, the, one of the best receivers I've seen since I've been here at Woodrow. So, uh, you know, that's just, uh, everybody's got their opinion. But, uh, you know, we've, Beckley's always had great, great skilled people. And, uh, you know, it's hard to compare them. But, uh, so you would slot Kenan Cook in there with among the greats of, that have come through. Yeah. Which is saying something. With the oh yeah, that I've seen since I since I've been alive throwing the ball. Yes. All right, hey, Street. I appreciate the time. Good luck this year. Hey, thank you, Dave. Appreciate you.